morning today. Where'd you go? You just want a peanut, don't you? They're in my pocket, you little crazed. You're so silly. Hey, get out of my shirt. Come here. There you go. Crazy lunatic. So one big disadvantage to living up here in the north at least in an old house, is um, it gets kind of cold and drafty. So today I've been putting the plastic cling wrap on the windows and just kind of trying to get a few things ready for the cold weather. I'm not sure if this is actually going to come out or not because I probably should turn on a light or something. I guess I can try to do that. I'm still really new at this whole YouTube thing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I guess that's brighter. Anyway, I buy this stuff because it's a lot cheaper than getting brand new windows. I mean, I guess technically new windows are a longer term investment, but a much higher initial outlay. So every winter I just buy these kits, and they help. I'm not sure that this cabin was ever actually meant to be a year-round residence. Most of the cabins on this lake were meant to be summer places and they just kind of got retrofitted as much as people could so that you could maybe maybe live here year-round i mean i've been doing it a couple of years it's not too bad i think a tall person might actually be able to do this without a step ladder, but I'm not tall, so I was happy to find a step ladder in the basement. I guess it's not a step ladder, it's a step stool. It's kind of cool, it's one of those old antique ones. I figure one of these days, all this stuff that I have downstairs is going to be back in fashion again, and then I'll be cutting edge or something. <laughs> Technically, I think you're supposed to have a hair dryer to make this tighter and, I guess, more able to be seen through, but I don't actually own a hair dryer because I just can't be bothered. So I just pull it as tight as I can and it's worked out every year so far. I usually end up with heavy curtains on the entire winter anyway. This is not the warmest house in the world. It's not bad, though. I mean, I'm not really complaining too much. I think I'm freezing, but Ian seems to think it's warm enough. He runs around in short sleeves all year. I'm not sure how different this year's going to be, because I lost most of my insulation this year. 
which I'm really, really happy about. I just don't know if that's going to make me feel more cold. It might. I guess I'll find out. It was worth it, though. I think I'm... I started trying to lose weight about this time last year. And... I think officially I'm down 48 pounds. I usually just round it up and tell people I've lost 50 because it's close enough. And 50 extra pounds is kind of a lot when you're short. I mean, I guess it's kind of a lot no matter what. But. And the sad thing is, I didn't notice it for the longest time. I figured I maybe had to lose 10, maybe, maybe 15 pounds. And I hadn't been on the scale in months. And I got on the scale, and the number kind of shocked me. I'm not gonna lie. And it, um, I decided it was time for changes. So I started trying to just work out a little bit and maybe cut out some sugar. Then I realized that potato chips were probably not an appropriate snack on a daily or weekly basis. I've never been big on sweets, except now I think my favorite thing is technically a sweet, but I think it's healthier. It's that chocolate granola. And it's really good. I drank a lot of my calories. I used the um, Coffee Make Coffee Creamer, which is really tasty, but you might as well just drink your sugar. And the sugar-free and the fat-free stuff is really pretty gross, so I just relearned that black coffee isn't really the best, worst thing in the world. And just drink that now. Anyway, I'm going to keep plastic wrapping my windows, and uh, I'll see you guys later. I was going to say it's really calm and peaceful, but I think the dog across the lake disagrees. Or maybe the dog just thinks it's too calm and peaceful. I love sunrise because it's so pretty. But I think the, the reds and the yellows show up better later in the evening. I got about half of my windows done. I'll have to work on it some more tomorrow. I get too distracted. It was a good day though. Two very lazy cats. I see ya. You know, Zia, a black cat in a dark house just doesn't show up good, does it? You know, Zia, if I can lose weight, you probably could. You're 
kind of a chunky girl. What do you think, Iggy? See, cats really aren't supposed to like tummy rubs. I know I saw it somewhere. <laughs>